of lots of ladies kept their baby because of that song. I'm happy. Jitendra Bhagat, I'm glad you like Dawes. Soul Kitchen, brother. Yeah, you never heard it on the airwaves. Kavad Mohit Jina, yeah, he's got to take credit for that one. Good morning, Radhika. I'm really glad you're doing a workshop at the Kalagora Festival. So full power to you. Guest in studio. Finally, it's 9:10. This is Good Morning Mumbai, and you're with Rishi K. Radio Dr. Mufazal Lakhrawala is a the founder. Center for Obesity and Diabetes Surgery, the first Indian center for excellence for bariatric surgery. Good morning, welcome to the show. Good morning, Vishnu, and uh, good morning, Mumbai. Okay, now what really? Speak to me like a child and <laughs> tell me what really is bariatric surgery. So bariatric comes from the Latin word baros, that means oh. weight. Okay. okay, and bariatric surgery actually started with weight loss surgery, and it was it is something which is not cosmetic at all. It's not. Uh, common to the tummy tucks or the liposuctions or thing. This is meant for people who are 100, 200 kilos and above, and where the weight literally is killing people. It's causing type 2 diabetes, hypertension, various diseases, a host of cancers, infertility, and name the disease, and it comes along with the territory with obesity. Mm-hmm. So that's how bariatric surgery evolved over the last few years, maybe over a decade or so. It's been started in the U.S. Uh, and also. But it's picked up in the region in Asia, more so because of type two diabetes. India is second only to China in the number of type two diabetics in the world. It's all because of your belly fat. Okay, we mm. call it a beer belly, but that's actually what is causing all the big problem. So, 80 percent of the type two diabetics today are overweight or obese, and if you can tackle this, probably you'll uh, be much much better off. Yeah, you know, um, I tried to corner Adnan, Adnan Sami. Into uh, trying to confess whether he actually went and had surgery, but he 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 played very sharp, and he he dodged me. But the fact of the matter is, I mean, you see somebody like Adnan, for example, and the kind of weight that he had, and then you know the weight that he has now, and he was talking about how it really changed his life. Now, whether it was surgery or whether it was diet, is beside the point. But I'm just saying the benefits of actually losing weight loss, of, yeah. of weight loss, you know, weight loss kind of benefits are unknown world over. Yeah. Uh, whether you do the surgery, actually, unfortunately, bariatric surgery comes with the territory. It it is not a name that most people like to say that we've had weight loss yeah. surgery because it's it sounds more heroic if you say you've lost weight with diet and exercise. Mm. The true fact is that when you're morbidly obese, 98 percent of the people do not manage to lose weight and maintain it. Most people lose weight, but maintaining that weight loss is very very difficult long term. Lots of people would argue that you're interfering with the natural course of the body. You know how uh, most holistic healers turn around and say that there's a particular uh, way that the stomach is supposed to f- uh, function, the digestive system is supposed to be function, and you're messing with it. So, what would you say to that? Yeah, I would say that uh, let's say if you have a cancer, you have to remove the tumor, right? So once you identify uh, obesity as a disease, you'll start not having too many questions about messing around with the system. Because when we let's say if we were to do a cancer for the Uh, stomach. We remove the stomach, and then we go and join the small intestine to the food pipe. Nobody says anything about that because we count a cancer of the stomach as a disease. Today, obesity is still being coined as something which is a chubby cheek or something which is not a disease. The yeah. day we count it as a disease, it'll be great. Today, uh, as we stand, the government of India for the central government health scheme has actually approved bariatric surgery as a weight loss procedure. Yeah. Yes. And that, in fact, they are saying that we pay for it. So the government, this is a great move, and it's a great mm. step forward. Yeah. Uh, and I, fact, can, I can speak for most overweight people. We just we think there's nothing wrong with us. <laughs> most people are living in denial, actually. <laughs> yeah, we live in denial. <laughs> <laughs> More conversation with Mufazal. There's some interesting things about him. He likes going scuba diving, and uh, he's got a uh, a coffee mug fetish. Uh, so more on that. It's nine thirteen in the morning, uh, and I'll get Rohit in here and do some pictures, and we'll put them up at the rate of H R I S J K Y on Facebook. dot com slash h r i s j k y don't go anywhere. Ninety four point 